Awesome, and we're back. I'm getting far more comfortable with these, kind of nice. Uh, so welcome back to another tutorial of uh, Island, or and analysis of uh, Island Uphold RPG Maker. Uh, okay, so the last tutorial I was building a pirate ship, which was side face. Oh right, I was gonna do a part two. So this is going to be a part two tutorial of RPG Maker 2003 and uh, making a pirate boat uh, forward facing. So this is side, now it's forward facing. So All right, let's get right into it so I can uh, cut through all the others. Mumble jumble. All right, so new map. We're going to open up a new map. We're going to set it to ship once again. And we're going to make the map size much bigger. So we're going to say 50 and 50. Oh, another good tip. This is kind of sort of obvious. But when you're creating a pirate ship, you're going to want to place it somewhere in the center of the uh, map versus, versus, this, versus the edge. Because when you try and expand the map, then you're going to have to tweak things in order to you know, uh, crop it down or make it bigger. So it's probably best you just have it in the center and then from there you can sort of shorten it so it gets to the, the smallest. Anyways, so let's have part two begin. So remember when I started with these and that was for side facing ships. Um, we're gonna now have the bow or the, is it stern? And we're just going to click this one for the bottom. And the top one is... Uh... Okay. Well, this is the first time I've created a ship going lengthwise. So forgive me if it's obtrusive, but we'll try and... Uh figure it out on other terms. We'll see how this works out. So you're going to grab this entire corner and you just want to click and that'll give you the uh, bottom facing end of the ship. Grab this little piece and let me just zoom in there. Sorry. And put it like that. Uh, I can see why no one made a pirate ship. These things are, are awfully tricky to uh, do a tutorial on, but I'll try and give it my, my best, uh, my best go. Oh, wait, I think it's this. So you have the crossbow there, right? And then uh, overlap that. There we go. Um, whoops. There we go. Get rid of that. Sorry, give me one second. Okay, so grab this, uh, edge out the the uh, other areas, and then on the top, grab this and place it forward facing. Yes. There you go. That looks good. Now I had an issue locating the other, the, the, the front face facing, but we'll figure that out in due time. So if we zoom out, that's what we've got. We've got the, uh, the front of the pirate ship. Now what's left is these uh, over top go in between the, the cracks of the bottom. So let's do that. Put it like there. See how that connects? That's good. And then these two on either side. That looks good. And then this again. This is the first time I've I've created this. I'm I'm completely uh, sort of drawing drawing blank in in uh, how this is going to turn out uh, per se. So let's just cross our fingers and hope it uh, goes for all the best. But you can see the internal components versus the external and how they both they both align. This, I believe, is for, yeah, the edge, the two edges. 
So you're going to want to drag and click. And like I said, sometimes I, I go really fast with these. Uh, so uh, my apologies if it's if it's too, too, too fast. Um, you can certainly just pause the video. Let's make this wider and add a couple more of these onto the end. And remember how uh, I use these to control the edges? Well, these right here will be to control the, uh, the bottom edges per se. Um, or th even try this. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Let's just for now use this as a as an as a frame of reference for how wide the ship is going to be or even this is that nope that's too thin nope apologies and we're going to do the Oh, that's neat. Aha! Okay. Figured stuff out. This might actually be a very slow video. I, I apologize. It's supposed to be a tutorial, not a very helpful one, but um, you're going to take this tiny piece, put it there, just like the tiny piece goes there. And then from there, you take this top piece and nope, take this piece and uh, push out the edge of, edges of the ship. All right, obviously this might not be the perfect, um, whoops, perfectly edge ship, but uh, we're gonna try for um, the best we can do. Okay, so once we've done the outer, Remember how I do the outer first on the last one and then the, the inside? Uh, we'll, we'll align so that we can see the width of the ship, so zoom out. Okay, that's a healthy width. And we're gonna scale it so it's about here so that we have enough to, to come back on. So I might even make um, this map slightly bigger by length. So here's the length and let's turn it up to Let's say 80, or oops, sorry. <laughs> it's width and length, not length and width. Okay, let's, let's do that again. Uh, there we go. So now we can, uh, now we can see that it's it's gone slightly longer, but as you can see, uh, the, the length is, is uh, moved down towards the bottom. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to continue where we were uh, just for time's sake. So now that we've got the outside ready, we what we're going to do is we're going to take these edge pieces and do that. And that's going to signal that's, oh, oops, that's our edge of the ship. From there, we're going to take these top two pieces and say that's going to be the end of the ship. So if that, yep, looks about right, I'm going to line it so that it's uh, uh, perpendicular and they're even. So that goes even across and that lines up length down, length down. Then we'll take this uh, front part and uh, ah, might even have to make the ship even smaller put the we'll use that as a reference point so take these out and make make them go down just a little bit more say about here it's gonna be a very fat thick ship <laughs> That's okay though. Then what we'll do is we'll take these these two corner pieces. Whoops. Okay, that's our our uh, bow stern or whatever, and then map this so it shoots out 
And yeah, it more or less connects. Let me just erase this. So that's your erase tool right there in the corner. Already been through that. And replace the uh, sides of the ship. So you always want to do the um, the outside or the this side first. And these are the tools that, that gives you an idea of the sense of space of the ship. So there you go. And then once you've... Uh, Okay, this, this might not look as even as we planned. So let me see where this is going to go. Okay. You'll want to make sure that the the length of the ship is uh, accurate with um, the length of the map. So that if, if you do have these kinds of editing faults like you can see how that's uneven but we'll just we'll go with it for now so that you get an idea of the sense of space of the ship i haven't had a chance to make one of these before lengthwise so my my sincerest apologies for that but we'll at least get something now that we've done the outside first and we've done the uh the bow here we're gonna want to do the uh inside top now I don't see uh, the, sh the, the ship port pointing forward. And I think that's what these are for. So these, remember this, uh, within this text box, there were these ones on the side. You're gonna take that and put them at the top here, yeah. There we go. And from there, now that we've got that, we take this spool and we'll just line it across like that. So if we zoom in, there's the one side of the ship and there's the end result on this side. It may not look perfect, but we're not so much aiming for perfect as we are just to uh, get a, a rough a rough uh, idea of uh, what it is we want in the uh, in the shot. So once we've got those on the side, now we're going to take whoops uh, the edge of the ship. Remember, I, I showed you uh, there was um, so that was the the guardrail facing sideways. Um, you're gonna take this end and uh, see, shoot it up. You can see how that that that's misaligned. So let's fix that. Add in one more. Whoops, wrong one. And then grab this. Whoops, and then face it down. And we're just going to get rid of that extra box. There we go. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So whatever you want to use as a guardrail. Actually, this looks like a better guardrail. There we go. That looks much nicer. So that has, you can see that left side there. And here's the right side. And we'll just shoot that down again. There we go, we got oh, a very wonky looking ship, but I'm sure if you uh, if you play with these so that they align properly, that you will have this more center facing. So always use this for the edges of the ship. We have the edges complete, as you can see. Then how RPG Maker does it is now you just detail the inside. So we've got the outside. Now the inside, um, you can see what is supposed to be forward facing and what isn't. We're gonna take this deck style and put it in these corners. Beautiful. 
And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, cool. And when you uh, see it in full view, there you go. We've got it in full view. Then we take this deck. I mean, you can choose if you want it sideways or, or, or front facing, right? Depending on the, the lines. And, um, or this one. And we'll just say that's the, uh, the edge. It's got a, a nice little edge on it here. And start start filling in the boat. Whoops. And take that. And now we use the rectangle tool and say, there we go. Now we've got a, a ship deck that faces forward. And again, you do the outside. I, I keep reminding you because this is, is going to be one ugly looking ship. But <laughs> hey, that's okay. It's just to give you an, an idea. And as you use RPG Maker more and more, you get more comfortable with um, how you want to make things look. Uh, this is a rough drawing, but it can be so much better. You can't use these because they're, they're really for the sides of the, or side face of the ship. So you can't see what's below here, but you can see the, the top from the top point of view. And now we grab, what did we grab? We grabbed these for the bottom. So there should be something like that for the top. These are for the sides. It's for the sides. Is this is for the top. Um, there you go. There they are. It's here and here. There's, these are the bottoms and these are the tops. So. We'll just fill that in like this. There we go. And we can even fill them in up here. Uh, where's the brown? Perfect. Brown, 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 brown. May look pretty ugly, but that's okay. We're just getting a... Guess, guesstimate. And there you go. Now we've got a <laughs> a chubby slash warped ship, but it gives you a, a basic plane on where you want the ship to go. Of course, we can fill that in with the um, upper and lower decks. Uh... There's also these. These are um, these are steps, I believe, or the ladder. Yeah. So maybe you want the the ladder, whoops, up here. Rather than, oh no, that doesn't look good. Just say the ladder is there. And here's the the middle of the ship. I forgot to fill in the rest of this. You can see how the, the change of tile looks compared to this. Maybe you want to switch it up. See, you can notice the slight difference in pattern just to give it a more unique flavor there we go let me just fix that one part right there okay so that was a lot quicker than the the other tutorial um Perhaps I, I didn't give it enough uh, detail. I apologize for that. You can, of course, have the captain's wheel up here so it looks like facing the ship that way or down here. Um, I hope that this is helpful. I, I feel like I'm getting better at these and more succinct and to the point. I'm not the greatest tutorial speaker. I keep saying that. 
but I have a great time making these uh, anyways. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, that, that looks pretty dope. We've got defenses everywhere. Mwah ha 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 ha. Up to kill you, pirates. Looks like one of those uh, badass um, ships on Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever. Is that the, the movie name? Oops. Again, uh, yeah. We and then I don't know. Maybe they're avid readers on on deck. But once you once you add a few things in your favor, say that their 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 armory is at the front, and the flags can't forget the flags. Once you've added a few things on on the front, once you've even these sides out and how 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 wide you want them to be, and knowing where where to use these uh these corners for each, it takes a little bit of practice. But you slow down what I've done, and you can see uh, clearly uh, what I use to decorate the bow and decorate the front. Yeah, you'll be uh moving along just fine can add some anchors on either side some lanterns and of course it wouldn't be finished without uh, steps oh yeah so the steps are on the the second second floor right here so just say like that's the 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 exit or that's the exit down there you go and it's going to exit right right into uh, the port, right? So you, maybe you can have uh, the port there. Okay, I, I hope that this was a helpful tutorial in making a pirate boat part two uh, lengthwise with a couple of... Um, ba you'll, you'll understand the balancing features from... Uh, this this means the edge of the ship and this is the ship's innards and once you have that practice detailing the 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 uh, this is top to bottom this is side to side and these are the uh, pieces it, it's less intimidating than it looks once you've watched the tutorial I hope this helps um, next I'm going to show you guys how to build a castle on RPG Maker 2003 then once I've finished my, my cutscenes, once I've, I've showed you an analysis of the game, I'm going to go more into uh, the, uh, the gameplay. So moving the character, interacting with objects, having people join your team. Uh, there's no ba battles or monsters, but um, a lot of the things in an RPG game still apply, like uh, clicking on objects, adding text, um, picking up and using items, using items to clear paths. Uh, these are a lot of uh, important things in a, in a puzzle game or an adventure puzzle game. So this is more of an adventure storytelling game. But anyways, I'll, I'll sign off there. Hope this was helpful. I know I talked too much. I just, I, I wish I had lots of fans and, you know, people were all in on this and they were like, whoa, it's crazy. But okay, anyways, signing off. Uh, until next tutorial number four.